Okay, welcome to this week's episode of Love Subbing. And I think that there's a phrase out there that says, be careful for what you wish for, because it might come true. And last week, if you watched last week's episode, we said, and I think we're coming close to officially running out of content. <laughs> now that all the snow is melted, it looks like we have something to troubleshoot. Yep. So we notice a real small little wetness in our carpet once the snow all kind of melted off of this thing. And that means we have a leak. Yes. So that's going to be our challenge for this episode is to see if we can't uh, target that. Yep. This was going to be the year that I was going to recock the roof anyway, and um, but we don't know where it's coming from. You can see we've got painter's tape. We've been trying to kind of rule out some of the areas. Right. But um, it's gathering here and here. So yep. I think it's coming from the roof. So uh, we're going to show you how we troubleshoot this, and how we come through it and what we're gonna be doing on the inside as well. Yep, so that'll be this week's episode, fixing the leak in our Airstream. Hope you enjoy the video. So as you can see, the first step in troubleshooting, what we've done is trying to locate the leak. And the leak is probably right about here on the inside, right, see? Yeah, that's about right. It's, it's, it's right below the corner of the uh, window there. So this is where we first noticed the leak in the corner here. And you could sort of see that the carpet has gotten a little wet in the past. And so we're hoping that this ceiling reseal will do the trick. So the first thing we're doing is using a lot of painter's tape to kind of go over and block so, any water ingress. Yep. Yeah. And so far it doesn't seem to have right. helped at all. Right. So it doesn't look like it's coming from here or from this seam down here. No. Um, and or then... from the top here. So we're just going to keep on, uh, that's part of troubleshooting, is trying to narrow things down. You get a big funnel, and you're trying to bring it down until you find that piece that you need. Right, that's what we're doing. As you can see, we've raised the antenna. I think this is the first time we've raised this antenna. In what, 18 years <laughs> uh, ever? We may have raised it when we bought it, just to figure out how to do it. Yep, we're going to clean the roof. That's going to be your first step to uh, caulk in. Yep. And then I guess we remove the old caulk, right? We're going to try and remove the old caulk. That's the right way to do it. And put some new ones on. So the first step, we're going to wash the uh, roof of the Airstream. Um, and if you've not seen my video on how I get up on the roof, uh, it's, I think one of the first, it's probably one of the first or second videos we've ever done. So it's a little rough around the edges, but I use the rain rail um, to get up there. So check that video out. So we let the roof dry after we washed it yesterday. So this stage looks a little messy. What are you doing? So there's universally a right way to do something and a wrong way. And also just as universally, the right way is always the hardest way. So to properly put on caulk, you've got to remove all the old caulking. And this caulking is pretty old. You can kind of see what I'm pulling up. It's kind of hard and crusty, uh. which is a sign that it needs to be replaced. And so that's what we're kind of doing. We're removing the caulk. Step by step, right? Yep, we're gonna prep the surface. I ordered the caulking from Defender Marine. So it should be pretty waterproof, right? Well, it's the Sika Flex, which is recommended. I, I know this factory uses something different these days, but they used to use the Sika Flex, and that's what I used before. So um, by ordering it from a marine store, doesn't mean it's any better. It just means it's 10 times more expensive, mm -hmm. but it gets here in a day. So yep. And that's, the last thing in the world you want is after you remove all your caulking to have a massive rainstorm. Right. And we have a series of what, five days that are going to be perfect weather. Yeah. So we should be good to go, but uh, it's coming up. It's a pain in the butt, but it's coming. Yep. You've been working on it for what? A couple hours now. Yep. And I've got the front fantastic fan and part of the radio done, but you got to do things right. If you do try and skip. You're gonna end up with leaks again, and that's not what we want. Nope, we wanna fix the leak. Yep, so get that caulking off. Excellent. Let's go ahead and talk about the tools that you're gonna need for this job. Um, probably the most useful thing, scraper and a little uh, scraper helper, just to get some of that caulk up. 
needle nose pliers on occasion will help to pull some of that stuff. Out of tight spaces, right? Yeah, I, I, I use these, but these aren't as good as the needle nose. Sometimes a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, just to get that little area that maybe the scraper doesn't go into too well. Bucket to keep all your... Leavings, shavings. Shavings and your dustpan. And the jury's out on this stuff. We got this because in some areas the caulk was pretty hard. It may have helped a little bit. I'm doing it around here. And um, this might help. And we'll give you a final report on this. But it seems to be helping a little bit, soften up some of that hard caulk. What, what's it called? Crud cutter <laughs> very cleverly they put it with a k because i would not have bought this if it was spelled with a c i would have said no that's that's not don't i'm not buying that but because they spelt it with a k about eight bucks at home depot yep we're gonna give it a shot right Yep. so i've been doing this for since this morning most of the day yep it's a kind of a miserable job but i did find one rivet that's missing up here and we have another one over here on right. the on well the... that one that one i knew about yeah um, we covered that one up in caulk as soon as we found it. But um, I'm gonna replace, I didn't know about this one rivet here that's kind of hidden, so we'll replace that. And we'll replace the other one now instead of caulking it. Yep. All right, well, as you can see, I've changed. I'm not in my Airstream work shirt anymore. Um, but I am sore. That job was horrible. Are you done with it? Uh, yeah, I get a little bit more cleanup, final cleanup work, but I'm pretty much done. But Man, stripping off that caulk. The, the big problem with being sore is the fact that you can never have a nice, easy um, way to stand. You're always on the ribbing, so you're not comfortable. You're always flexing. You're twisting. And twisting, and somebody's making pizza. It's just, it just was a tough day. I started around 9 ish yep. and finished around 3 ish. So, um,. But yeah, uh, my Sika Flex should come in today, and we'll maybe do it tomorrow or Saturday. We get some great weather coming up. We'll go from there. Yep. Sweet. So my sealants have arrived. I ordered these on Wednesday, and they came in on Thursday, 24 hours later, from Defender.com. They're a marine boat supply company. And this is a good tip. Sometimes if you can't find what you need in an RV store, the marine companies will usually sell a very high quality product, very expensive, but it's always another option if you can't find what you need at say, your standard uh, RV company. Marine company and the best of the best is Defender Marine. Check them out if you need them. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we got. really packaged it well you can see so this is Sikaflex 505 UV um, I'm not I think the Airstream factory currently use ad seal but Sikaflex is what I've used before and I think it's uh, something that a lot of Airstream and RVers use on their roof now here's an important tip here's my 721 UV which they don't make anymore it's been replaced by this but make sure you check the expiration date most of these sealants have an expiration date, and you can see here, that little guy. We're gonna start by just making a really, very, very small um, cut here at the uh, application nozzle because we're gonna start sealing the front cap seam first before we go around the Fantastic Fan. But before we do that, we're just gonna do a few practice um, lines to lines see. just to get used to it. Yep. And then we're gonna go ahead and start our sealing process. Before we apply the sealant, we're gonna go ahead and use some Citra Hall uh, citrus metal cleaner and maybe even some simple green to make sure that our surfaces are entirely clean before we apply the sealant. And dry, correct? Yes. How's it going on? It's going on good. Now this is not norm this type of sealant was not normally used here but I'm going to anyway because nobody can see it So here's Rich going around the fantastic fan 
he cut a bigger hole in the cock gun so that we could ply more around that area than along the seam. Again, it's very awkward to try to do this. And of course, cock is the messiest substance on the planet, except for maybe cornstarch. It's a little like playing Twister up there, right? It is. So he's going over the screws around the outside of the fantastic fan. Today's weather is perfect for this. Here he is going around the antenna, which we never use. The other thing I'm going to do while I'm at the antenna is give a little squirt into that little rubber thingy just to make sure that that's completely good to go. That little cover there? Yeah. That's smart. And he's just smoothing it down with his finger, making sure it lays flat. And doing the screw. And gonna do screw holes too? Yep. Yeah, so one of the important things about getting up on your roof um, is to check out to make sure you don't have any missing rivets. And we saw that there's one head of a rivet that's kind of shaved itself off somehow. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and replace that. So how are we gonna do that? We'll drill out the rivet. We have rivet, a whole bunch of different size rivets, and I definitely encourage everybody to have a bunch of uh, different size rivets and rivet gun. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, let's do it. Nothing like drilling a hole in the roof of your airstream. Yep. <laughs> All right, so we got that. Take our rivet gun, our rivet. We'll go ahead and put that on. Kind of like when we did the zip de-awning thing, huh? Yep. All right, there you are with the rivet gun. And stick it in there and give it a squeeze. Did you get it? Yep. So there you have it. A brand new rivet was installed. All right, well, I think that about does it, huh? Right, well, we hopefully got everything sealed tight and we had a little bit of rain and yep. it seemed to have hopefully solved the problem, but we also found two rivet holes. Yep, two roof. rivets that the head had been shaved off up there. So that just emphasizes the importance of getting up on your roof and checking things, things out, out. Yeah. and not waiting too long to get your caulking uh, redone. How long would you recommend going in between checking uh, the caulking? I, 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 I saw something that said when it stops becoming pliable is a good time to replace it. So now once a year I'm going to take, or every few years probably, just take a screwdriver. And just test it. Push it in there. And as long as it's soft and pliable, I think that that's a good time to say your caulk's good. But once it starts getting hard. Right. Ours was pretty hard. Yeah. We waited too long admittedly to do this. And it's probably because I hate getting up on the roof of this thing. I was so sore. Oh my goodness. Three days of cleaning and scrubbing. But anyway, I think we're, we're pretty good right. to go. Yeah. We're sealed. Yeah, we're sealed. So if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and click the subscribe if you've not already subscribed and even hit that notification bell. Yes. And comment below if you're doing some leak work on your Airstream or if you found a leak or. Yeah, you... what you do. Yeah, what you do. We come out with Airstream and RV related material every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.